Ooh, that's gonna be real close. That's too high. Sit down. That is oh, gonna be pretty get close. There. Get there. Go to 200 yards. 92 club speed. Today, we've got Will Hedberg joining us for the low ball flight challenge. Who can successfully produce the lowest ball flight? If you like this video, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the Second Swing YouTube channel. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Will Hedberg at, from the Second Swing Minnetonka location. We're outside in the driving range today at Les Bullside Golf Course. Today we've got a fun challenge. We've got the low ball flight challenge and we're filming this during the Open Championship. We're gonna see a lot of low ball flight, a lot of low stingers to keep it out under the wind out there. Mm -hmm. um, so today, even though it's actually a perfectly calm day out here, we're still gonna do our low ball flight challenge. Um, Will, this is kind of your idea. So why don't you explain the game for us here? What are the rules and the criteria uh, to see who wins today? So yeah, this is a 1v1 challenge. So uh, me versus Drew. So the goal is to one-up each other. I know that's the goal of every uh, challenge, mm -hmm. especially 1v1s, but today it's going to be, you have to get a lower ball flight height-wise uh, that goes over 200 yards than the person who hit before you. So say I hit it 100 feet in the air, Drew has to get 99 or less. And then I have to uh, get lower than whatever his shot ends up. And each person has three chances to get lower than the previous. So we'll start with a standard stock shot, probably goes something 100 feet in the air, we'll keep mm -hmm. going lower, and uh, we'll get, towards the end of this, we might get some crazy golf shots to take place here on, on the video, but um, I'm excited for this. I'm not necessarily a low ball flight player per se, so this might be difficult for me. I'd say you're the favorite here, oh, yes. but um, we'll see how it goes. You ready to get started? Heck yeah, let's do it. All right, so Will, since this is your game, you can lead us off here, but first I wanna get you know, what clubs are you gonna bring for this challenge? What, it looks like you got a fairy wood and some type of iron here. So yeah, uh, I currently have the um, tailor-made Sim, the original Sim, Sim 1, uh, titanium, with a Diamana spe special edition fairway stiff shaft, 75 gram. So I'm gonna be starting off with that. I also have a uh, tailor-made P790 UDI, two iron, uh, that is about 17 odd degrees and it's got a hazardous smoke black um, stiff flex shaft in it, very, very low spin shaft. And if it really comes down to it, I th think I might be trying to like blade a wedge or a putter. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get into some interesting shots here towards the end of this, I bet. But very we'll start with so. those clubs. All right, so start us off here. You, now, this is a green light for you. You can hit this 200 feet in the air if you wanted to. Exactly, so, so uh, I'm gonna be uh, gracious to uh, my competitor <laughs> Drew here, and I'm gonna try to hit tried to hit as high of a ball flight as I can. All right. A little left, but. I'm starting us off. Let's see what the, uh, the height number here. We've got 107.8 feet in the air. I think I can match that or okay. beat that. Let's do it. All right. So I have a G425 LST, three wood from Ping with a Aldilla Rogue White 80X shaft. Then my three irons is the Ping I500 Project X LST 6.5 shaft. Um, I might, you know what, I might do some tweaking with this if I need to. I have uh, some loft adjustability possibilities there, so I might do with that. But for now, I have to beat 107 feet with my three wood. Beautiful shot right there. I think that'll work, right? Should. So, we have a total of 272, a uh, launch angle of 4.7 degrees, and a height of 68.3 feet. 68, okay, that's good. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna accelerate this a little bit. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna go pretty quick. All right, so the number to beat, 68.3. Looks like you're doing a little bit of manipulation to the ground here, Will. I sure am, yeah. Getting something that's not quite as lofted as a T, but that is a little bit lofted, so. Just a little bit off the ground there, kind of? A little bit off the ground so I can hit down on it. So right. we'll see if I can get this uh, fairway wood here over, or under 68.3. If I can't, then maybe some manipulation would be the way to go. That'll be close. Right there, you got the draw too. A little, like kind of a low draw. 56.9. Sweet. Winner, winner. On to the next round. No manipulation of the ground? Not yet. I mean, I might get to that point, but I'm just gonna, 56 feet. I'm gonna choke down just a little bit too. Woo. Really tough to beat. A little bit low on the face too, which might help. 
So, launch angle of 3.1 degrees, 35 feet. 35 feet, all right. Gonna have my work cut out for me. All right, well, we've got a two iron now for Will. Yep, I switched Changing it up. P792 iron, I'm gonna start. So you got three of... shots. Three shots to hit it 35 feet or less and still total distance of traveling 224, or 200. Might be close. That could be close to 200 Very yards. Very chunked. That, that might work out perfectly though, if we get enough roll here from the track. 170 total. Okay. The height was 12 feet though. I don't know if I'd be able to beat that. Okay, we're gonna go tee up now. As odd as that seems. Yeah, I'm interesting in that you're teeing that up. Ooh, that's gonna be real close. Oh, it's gonna be real close to that 35 feet mark. Certainly 200 yards in total distance. Heck yeah. So, 32 feet is what I have to beat. I'm almost gonna like barely like swing a three wood, choke it down, and hopefully it like just rolls up to 200 yards basically. I'm yeah. For now. It's gonna be close. Oh, that's gonna have to roll a little bit, I think. It's probably not far enough. Carried 110, height of 15.6 degrees, but total 160. Yeah. So, gotta get 40 more yards. A little bit there. harder. I think that's the idea though. I, I just swing a little harder, and I think I can do that. Have you de-lofted your wood yet? I have not, which might be, if I have a third shot, I might have to do that. That's too high. Sit down. It's too high. Take it. Launch angle of 7.7 .7 was just over 200 yards, but 38.3. Oh. All right. Six feet off. Here we go. We're adjusting the club. We're going down in loft. We're gonna go to the big minus, minus 1.5. We're down to 13 degrees. Ooh. Down to 13 degrees. Also, the club face is more open, so hopefully that doesn't. Benefit of the uh, pink club is it's the standard loft is 0.5 degrees lower than a mm -hmm. lot of other brands. 14 and a half degree standard, which As in my to, case, in this specific scenario, does help. Exactly. As opposed to my fairway wood, which is 15 degrees. Okay. So that's the right idea, though. Just like a, you know, half swing. But now I got lower loft. All right, here it is. 32 feet, but I gotta beat. 32.4 to be exact. That is oh, gonna be pretty get close. There. Get there, go to 200 yards. 92 club speed, height of 5.1 feet, launch angle of 2.3, total yard, 175.5. Oh, dang. Valiant effort. Dang. That was good though, that was, that was, that was a very good shot that you put together. Thank right you there. very much. Tell you what though, if I would've gotten to 30 more yards out of that on a five feet, there's, you had no chance after that, but. We'll see, I could try to beat 32 here. But, no, nah, but we're good, we're good. I don't want to see you demoralize me even more, okay? But, no, this is a fun challenge. Not a ton of golf shots were taken today because we kind of escalated it quickly. We didn't go sure did. incrementally, but. Well, it's fun to see your ball flight. I know you're, you're a very good player and it's cool to see the way you're controlling that ball flight. And I know there's more videos coming on the channel about how you're able to control your ball flight a little bit. Um, fun to see, fun challenge that we put together today. Thank you for joining us today. Um, and some really cool and creative golf shots we saw today. Thank you very much.